Welcome back to another game, and in the spirit of the MOA 2v2, we've got another 2v2 here, and it is Viper and Jordan again. I'm gonna say this, and I think people might be getting sick of them, I know people always say they can't be sick of these guys, but they have been giving us so many good games recently, and this one... Oh, it just looks amazing. Anyway, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got Viper playing as the Mayans, one of his favorite civs to play with in the red. In the blue, we have Jordan playing as the Huns. Their opponents will be for this one. will be Hassan playing in the green as the Huns. And we're going to see Stark, who I don't think we've seen in a team game for a long time, uh, playing as the Mayans as well. So essentially, it's a Huns versus Mayans, uh, 2v2. Should be really interesting to see how this one pans out. Anyway, we know basically how the start should go, and let's just have a look at the maps quickly. Viper got his forage bushes on the front. This hill at the front here, going to be a little bit annoying if Stark decides to push up it. Wood not in the worst place in the world. Going to be quite hard to get in the back there with some archers. Of course, he'll have to wait till Castle before they get the range for that one. Other woods over here, not the best, but not the worst situations. This bit of hill here as well, all around... The all around this section is going to be really annoying for Viper to deal with. He does have a gold in the back, another gold here, and a gold here. So all this gold's pretty well in the back, honestly. He's even got another one over here. So if he puts some town centers down, I uh, should be able to defend it all quite well. However, the first town center, I can guess, will be going up on the wood, especially as mines. Uh, and then the next one, maybe on the stone, maybe this one, depending on where he wants to put it and how flat the ground is. Another house coming up there. Looks like it will be trying to wall this section off here then. And I think that's about all we need to say for Viper. Stones aren't in the worst positions possible, but then again, they couldn't be the... They could be a lot better. You could have one, like, right there, and that would be perfect. But still, let's have a look at Jordan. He's got a gold in the back. Berries towards the top here. Gold towards the front. Going to be quite hard to defend, actually, if he can't get a wall down. However, we could see a wall across here and here to defend that. And, of course, could even see one across here. This hilly area here around the bush is going to be annoying to hold. And then, again, if Hassan gets into the back here with some kind of archers, going to be annoying to try and hold that as well. Hassan, let's have a look. He's got his stone over on the right. His main gold is in the back there in quite a nice location, actually, especially if he decides to try and wall off across here. Definitely going to be quite nice for him. Woods up. Pretty good, honestly. Again, same goes for this one. Can't exactly stand at the back. However, standing over here will be quite effective. Did split his lumber, though. Very smart idea. Two farms up, and his other gold, though, right in the front here. So once he's off this gold, going to be quite annoying. However, this gold over here looking nice, too. So if we could see a wall off across here and across here, it would be kind of nice. Checking out Stark now. Berries in the back. Wood in the back. Quite nice, honestly. Look looks like he's splitting his lumber to the top as well. Gold over here in the right. He's already started the wall off across here. Looks like Stark's going to have a real nice position to defend. And another bit of gold in the back here if he wants to. Going for deer, actually. So we could see a fast castle out of here. It will be quite interesting to see. All right, so let's get into the game then. We've had a quick look at the map. And Viper having three militia out. So does Stark. Looks like they're both going to go for a drush here. But they're both playing it really defensively. So that's going to be one to keep an eye on. Viper looks like he's moving out across the map. No, he's going to stay here. That Eagle Warrior not getting killed off yet. Viper on deer as well. Of course, with mines... 20% last at longing resources. It's absolutely great to have. Especially on deer, gives you such a good bonus towards them. And saying that, the scores aren't refreshed. There we go. Jordan looking like he's having the lead now, but that could be due to scouting, so we'll see how this ends up as soon as the players start to get to castle. Viper already having four villagers on gold. Looks like he's going to be going for a relatively fast castle. Could see some out archers out of him, but it really at the moment looks like he wants to go for a fast castle. And of course, as mines, that's really an expected type of thing to see. And uh, delaying that archery range there actually really well. Stark playing like a champion there. Archery range being put down over here. Smith going down as well. So it looks like he will be walling this section here off. And he will be going for a fast castle. Stark, what are you up to? Blacksmith and... Archery range, yes, we'll be going for the same thing there. However, we do see that Jordan and Hassan are in it at the moment in a scout war. Looks like they will be taking out that spear there. However, it did manage to take one scout with it. Hassan behind in the scouts at the moment, and... Looks like Hassan's pretty much completely walled off right now. That's a good play from him, and... Jordan asking Viper if he's walled. No, he's not. And just saying that he thinks Hassan's coming to him because he's walled. And it looks like he's exactly right on this good teamwork so far. Militia, as we know, going to get killed off extremely quickly versus these scouts. And there we go. One down. Trying to micro as best he can, but 
not going to be able to win that one. Looks like there might be some harassment in these villages. Viper already having some archers out, so that's a good play by him. Stark at the moment, getting some archers out as well. I would say he's on his way up to Castle Age. Viper just about to hit it. That should be a 16-30 castle. That's a really nice time, especially considering he's got archers out as well. So we should be interested to see what he wants to do here. He doesn't have enough wood for another town center yet. Saying that, he's got enough now. Stark, he should be up any second now. There we go, Stark hitting castle. More town centers for you, and more harass over here. It looks like a Viper Mansion to take out a few of those scouts. Stark, no more town centers yet. Looks like Jordan is coming over to help out Viper against these scouts of Stark. No, you might be going over, not scouts of Stark, scouts of Hassan, sorry there. What are we looking for over here? Town Center coming up on the hill on this gold. Definitely a good placement there. Going to be able to defend this area very nicely, plus help defend this gold, which is going to be quite a big thing. There we go. That Town Center going up there for Viper. Quite a few villages on gold still. Hassan still in feudal. Jordan still in feudal. No doubt they're both on their way up, though. Jordan going up to a third archery range, where Hassan is still only on two. What's this coming up? Going up to a third now, though. Looks like they're both going up to castle, trying to get those cavalry archers out. And right now, we're in a bit of a stalemate. No one's really attacking. Saying that, Jordan's looking to get aggressive right now. Looks like he's just going to go scout out his opponent. And Viper's moving across the map with some crossbows. However, Stark, with some good positioning, will be able to defend this. Especially if he gets up on top of the hill here. However, no, Stark is going to miss those guys there. And what's Jordan doing down over here? Looks like he's just attacking a bit of wall. Viper may be able to get some villager kills over here. Gonna get one, that's Hassan up to the castle age. And now we can see that Stark is moving in against Viper. How's he gonna go? Oh, Viper very quick on the trigger there, going straight into that town center, killing off a crossbow without losing anything. Very good play by him. Also managing to catch an Eagle Warrior here and a villager down here, which we saw before. So some great play by him so far. We can see Jordan actually moving out across the map right now with some archers. Hassan not putting up any more town centers right now. As we know, Hassan definitely a one town center power play kind of player. He loves that one town center push and he's extremely aggressive. That's when that's probably why he's so good at the moment, I find. He's puts down that he doesn't even put down another town center, he puts it into cavalry archers, and then hurts his opponent's economy more than it would help him if he had another town center, if that makes any sense at all. It really sounds like it doesn't. A few idols over here from Viper, and actually garrisoning that extremely quickly again, still not losing a villager, and it looks like losing a few crossbows here. Viper playing an amazing game right now, and he will be able to catch these crossbows by the look of it with these guys, unless he takes... looks like he's going to go the long way around. I think Viper's just going to miss them. He's after him though. Thinks they're going to Jordan by the looks of the thing. There are crossbows still out for Jordan right now, and... What happened to Hassan's cavalry archers? He's got a few light cav up over here with scouts. That's an interesting one. Town center. There's the cavalry archers right now. Looks like we're... Ooh, Jordan doesn't have bloodlines yet. That is going to be a big one. I'm hoping it's on the way because this engagement here could really hurt him. And there we go, forcing him around here. It looks like we've got... We've got ballistics. No ballistics yet by the looks of it. That... No, no ballistics. All right then. He doesn't even have a university, that makes sense. And Archer's moving around here for Viper. Going to be able to take out these militia very quickly there. And how are we looking over here? Still two range for Viper. Town center going up on this stone over here. Of course, going to want to get that castle up so we can get those plumed archers out as quick as possible. Going to be an extremely helpful thing there. How's Stark looking? Is he on stone yet? Where's his stone? There... Doesn't look like it, so he's not going to have a castle up for a while yet. Still got quite a few villages on wood and gold though, so he's going to be able to supply himself with a lot of crossbows. Saying that, he has outmassed Viper here. Viper does have the hill advantage, but I don't think he's going to be able to take this one right now. Ooh, four rangers up for Hassan right now to Jordan's two. Three rangers on Jordan, sorry, he put a third one up, I remember that. Going to be interesting to see if Jordan can hold it up. He's is on three town centers saying that, though, and Hassan still only on the one. Going to be a bit of an issue here for Hassan in the economy if he can't get in and do some damage to Jordan. And saying that, it's going to be extremely hard for him to do it. What happened over here? Looks like there was a lot of crossbows lost, actually. Viper might have lost all his crossbows there. 
Interesting, we should have paid more attention to that. Scout's over here still from Jordan. Looks like they're still looking for something to do. And Hassan actually moving in on Jordan right now. Could be an interesting one to see here. Uh, let's have a look. Here come a lot of crossbows. Might be able to get and pack off a few villagers here. Getting another two. Th Ooh, another three there. Just really good play by him so far. What's over up here? There are some crossbows moving around the top for Stark. And some more moving in over here. It looks like Viper will have the numbers, but the hill advantage here looks like it's going to go to Stark until Viper gets up on top like this and going to be able to just get on top of the hill there and hold that hill advantage. Saying that, lots of cavalry archers moving in for Hassan. Going to pick off some villagers here, losing one, two... So we're going to see a few more as well. Three. And a cavalry arch there. And he hasn't lost one of his own yet. Still really needs that ballistics by the looks of things. We see University is up. So ballistics most likely is on the way right now. Ooh, this is an interesting one. And it looks like Viper managing to win this engagement over here. Unless these crossbows just retreated. However, saying that there is quite a few bodies at the top of the hill. We can assume that a lot of those crossbows did get killed off. Viper again, still three town center booming, doing an extremely efficient job here. Hassan kind of camping on this hill here, forcing Jordan to come to him. Definitely a good plan from him, and Siege Workshop going up from Jordan. Of course, that Manganel is going to be so strong against any type of archer unit, or any type of units that's just generally clumped up while attacking. Going to be absolutely great to use that. Viper still looking for another place to engage, however, saying that, Hassan is... So he's going to move in again, and Jordan is going to have the heal bonus here, so Hassan moving back quickly. Ooh, is he going to try and run up to the top here? Oh, it's, it's, it's positional fighting with cavalry archers. That's what it is over here. Lots of positional fighting. Looks like over here, crossbow versus crossbow. Viper might be able to take it just because the heal advantage and micro, but it's really going to be a close one. Hassan still down on the hill here. Could potentially move up a little bit more, but I think Hassan might lose this one. Depending, of course, on upgrades, how we look, and I can't tell. Ooh, Hassan does have the first, well, the second armor upgrade. That's going to be quite big. And actually, he might have Thumb Ring as well, which could be a really interesting one. Too bad, I really don't want to check the check tree right now. It's Manganel getting taken out before it can do anything. Hassan getting some really good harass here. And Viper coming in for some harass as well right now. Don't know if he's going to be able to pick anything off. Crossbows from Stark moving to engage already. Not losing any units, though, for oh, uh, Viper. Very smart play. And Hassan, again, moving in with all these cavalry archers. Still having that upgrade advantage, which is oh so important. But Jordan on the skirmishes right now as well. Going to be able to pad his army out with some skirmishes. Definitely a smart idea to use. Because, of course, they do soak up so much. It's like essentially having a, a low HP ram. And forcing Hassan off out of there. Because, of course, killing skirmishes while losing cavalry archers is not worth it at all. Right now, Stark engaging from the top of this hill. Viper might be able to actually take this one just with some micro. Saying that the hill bonus playing in here, a really big role, and it looks like we might even have ballistics there for Stark. Do you have a university? Yes, he does. There we go. So, being able to kill them all off extremely quickly. Still two ranges for Viper right now. Saying that, though, there is a castle coming up and another town center, so he's going up to four... Five town centers, actually, saying that. He's got another town center over here on the... Stone, that's really impressive. Going up to five town centers for him, this is going to be a massive economy. Right now, though, Stark and Hassan are actually in the lead on score. And I don't know how Jordan's going to come back from this one here. He really needs to do some damage. He's got quite a few cavalry archers out, but saying that, Hassan has a lot. He's going to need some really well-placed Manganel here. It's all some real tough skirmishes in there just to pad out the army. Viper getting his castle up, no doubt going to start producing plumed archers quite soon. More villages on the way. Starting to get quite a high resource count, actually, as well. And sitting on this hill right now, however, if Hassan manages to run up it. Hassan deciding to retreat from here, only losing a few cavalry archers. Could have been so much worse right now. Ooh, Manganel is moving across for Jordan. Could potentially try and assault Hassan's base right now. However, moving out with more cavalry archers. He is up to four ranges, five ranges now. Hassan on two, four... Still four ranges. Another town center is up for him. Viper is going Imperial right now. Plumed archers are on the way. Let's have a look. Castle going up for Stark on the hill there. Looks like Viper getting a little bit of harass over here with these crossbows. And it looks like we're going to see a fight over here between the cavalry archers of Hassan and Jordan. Ooh, I think Jordan's got it outmassed here. But there are reinforcements coming in quite quickly from Jordan. Lots of skirmishes moving in. 
It's going to all depend on Micro, and it looks like Hassan retreating out of there. Definitely a smart idea, considering the amount of skirmishes that we're moving in. We do see Stark actually moving out across the map right now, trying to get some harass on Viper, and he could actually catch this castle here if he's quick enough. Looks like that's where he's heading to. Might be able to catch this one. Hopefully, we'll be able to kill off a few villagers, and... Getting one, two, three, four, five, and forcing the stop of this castle here right now. And losing quite a few villagers there, actually. And over here, it looks like Stark... Not Stark, we are seeing Hassan push these units back from uh, a Jordan right now. And that's going to be quite a big deal to really do. Especially if he's got some mangonels in here. going to be really easy to defend if he can get them positioned right. Over on this side, it looks like this villager getting killed off as well. However, this castle being stopped is a really big deal. It's going to really stunt Viper's plumed archer production. On this side now, it looks like Jordan going to be able to just sit on this hill, hopefully try and do a little bit of damage, but I don't think there's going to be too much that he can do, so let's speed things back along here. Losing another villager here. Looks like Hassan will be... I think he's going to try and push out again soon. Come on, Viper, you need to get this castle. And Hassan moving out, and also we do see Jordan moving out as well, nearly at Hassan's base. Might force a recall here. Viper actually hitting the Imperial Age. Elite Plumed Archer, no. Seeing Bracer already, that's going to be really helpful. And garrisoning this town center really quickly. Hopefully we'll be able to take out quite a few of these crossbows, losing two, three, four. Maybe another one here, five, there we go. Over on this side, a few skirmishes have been downed over here from Jordan. And it looks like this Manganel is going to be pushing in as well, making this push extremely effective, especially if he gets a good hit on these skirmishes. Taking out quite a few there and actually pushing them right back across. Jordan saying that, though, has a lot of cavalry archers out right now. This boom has really paid off. However, it looks like these guys are getting some good hits here. But there we go. Changing formation. And it looks like he will be able to hold this one off. Hassan actually forced back across the map. Stark going up to the Imperial Age now. Seeing a Devil Siege workshop from him. Viper at the moment finally getting this extra castle up over here. While these crossbows are still harassing the space. Looks like he got quite a few kills there actually. Looks like he got four villagers maybe more. And it looks like that one there will just survive. Saying that the Cavalry Archer fights are still going over on this side of the map. Between Hassan and Jordan. Scores are really close at the moment. There's only about 200 in it between the averages. How's this one looking over here? Plumed Archers finally taking out these crossbows. Of course, Plume's going to win this one. Increase HP, and well, they start off with one armor. What else can you want? Saying that, though, Stark does have extra armor advantage than Viper right now. And that's on the way currently by Viper, so he's going to be able to match that one quite quickly. Plume's moving out from Stark right now. Got that plus two armor. That's a really thing here that's dividing them. Saying that, though, Viper does have chemistry, so it will kind of cancel out here. And neither player on Elite yet. Trebuchet currently coming out for Viper. Looks like he's trying to get really aggressive really soon. Another villager getting killed off over here. Plumes from Viper going to try and push that back. However, right now, it looks like a sign. Got some good defense going, but... For oh, Jordan might get in here. Is he going to go in? No, he's going to retreat out. There is a, another archery range coming down, sealing that off. Might sit at the top of this hill here and try and get the advantage, saying that they're both trying to get on top of the hill at the same time. There goes Hassan up to the Imperial Age. We haven't seen... I don't think we've seen... No, we have not seen Jordan go up yet. This will be a close one over here. We want to keep an eye on. Looks like Hassan will take it and force a retreat from Jordan right now. Plumed Archer still in Viper's base right now. Viper creating a ton of siege workshops. As we know, as mains, he does do an extremely heavy, well, ram push backed by Plumed Archers and occasionally trebuchets just to force the engagements when he wants. Over on this side, lots of skirmishes still for Jordan, actually. Playing rather defensive. Saying that, we do have Stark and Hassan just on top right now. The scores are literally about five points apart. Really, really close. Jordan upping now. That's giving about 100 points difference, but it's still really, really close. We can see this Cap Ram moving in from Stark right now. He will be trying to defend as best as possible. Two trebuchets out for Viper. We'll try and take down this castle on the hill here because it's going to be extremely hard to move out while that's still on the hill. Cavalry Archers moving out from Hassan. Might be able to kill off a ton of villagers here if Jordan doesn't see it in time. And losing three, four villagers there. That's still quite a big deal. Great play here by Viper moving these plumes to the front to stop this Ram being able to get onto these trebuchets. 
Ram's moving across the map from Viper right now onto this castle. Really needs to get rid of that castle right now. Lots of Rams from Stark as well. This will be a close one right now. And ooh, if he gets a good hit on these skirmishes, he could take this one. Saying that, he does have some light cavalry in play right now. So he is going to be able to do a bit of damage. But again, should be taken out quite easy. It's still only one light cavalry. And here comes the Siege Ram. I wonder if he's going to get the splash. Yes, the splash damage is hitting that second trebuchet. Or is it the plumed archers? It looks like it is the splash. Yep, splash mansion to kill that off. This castle here is going to be extremely hard to defend. It is up on the hill, but still these rams here. There's five rams. That's going to be more than enough to gut it. Viper pushing out against this castle on the top here as well. Still cap ram. No siege ram from him. Could see a really smart play here from Stark and push in all the way through here into the base and take out a lot of these farming units. Saying that, Hassan actually pushed back. Jordan already on heavy cavalry archer, while Hassan stuck on cavalry archer. Upgrade-wise, ooh, we see Jordan actually has the armor upgrade there, giving them an extra plus two. Going to be really interesting to see what he decides to do with that. Looks like he's also going into a little bit of light cavalry. Going to be interesting to see how that one works out. This castle over here will be down right now, and I don't know how Viper's going to hold this. He does have the hill, and he does have all these plumed archers. There are a lot of rams, though, and... Finally, Siege Ram from Viper. Looks like he's trying to push in against this castle, and he has forced a retreat here, actually. That is a really interesting one. I was not expecting Stark to move back here. If he pushed through, he could have done oh so much damage. Looks like Jordan again pushing out. He does have a castle up here to secure this gold. Of course, his main one is gone. Viper on his third gold as well. Looks like this one over here nearly finished. This one over here, fairly full as well, but like we said, we do have that extra resource bonus from the mines. Going to be extremely helpful in this kind of situation. Looks like plumed archers moving out across here. Could see a massive ram push across here, actually. Saying that, Viper putting down another two siege workshops on this side. Going for even more rams right now. He's really going to need it. Plumed archers, it looks like it's in favor of Stark. I can't say exactly right now, but these rams are going to really even it up. Or even put it in favor of Viper. Because he busts his castle here, actually. That's going to be a really important thing to remember, too. And I don't know if this is a bad idea or not by Stark. But Stark's going to lose so many units here. Especially if this town center ends up getting garrisoned. Going to be interesting to see. It looks like we do have Jordan pushing out again. Elite Cavalry Archer. Well, Heavy Cavalry Archer there for uh, Hassan. Something I always make a mistake on. Always say Elite Cavalry Archer. Plumed Archers moving forward here. And it looks like Viper's going to be able to chase them down here. A little bit of a misread there. And I don't think these Plumed Archers are going to stop. I think they're just going to get gutted. However, Light Cavalry still out from Hassan right now. And... Jordan doing a great job over here holding this hill. If he can hold this a little bit longer, he's going to be able to really start pushing in, especially once the rest of his units get here. Jordan going for the Hussar right now, and it looks like we do see, yep, Viper over here fighting against Stark. It looks like Viper does have the numbers here. As, uh, Stark does have the hill, but again, Viper's got the numbers, plus that town center there. Only two garrison units, but still going to be helping out. And there we go, Viper's going to take that one fairly easy. And it looks like Hassan's going to try and take this hill back now. Is fighting from this side, going for a kind of pincer move here, and looks like he will be sitting here. Jordan is doing the best he can, and there's no retreat yet by Jordan. It looks like he might actually try and win this one. More reinforcements running in from him. We do actually have a Sars there on the defense. Going to be quite good. And Viper moving out now with a massive amount of rams. I don't know how Stark's going to hold this. If he can start doing some ram on ram combat, he may be able to. But right now, the micro is just going to be really, really intense. He did lose a lot of plumed archers over in the top here. I don't know how he's going to be able to hold it. Looks like Jordan just holding this area over here right now. It's really close, though. Saying that, markets are up for them, and no markets yet for Hassan and Stark. Viper going to be able to take this castle out here now, and this might be the beginning of the end if Viper manages to push this down. Looks like he does have the plumed archer numbers here. There are some skirmishes being mixed in for Stark, but still going to be a bit of an issue once this castle goes down, try and hold this area. Viper will be able to run up to the top of the hill and be able to fight on even terms as such. He could even run to this spot here, and it looks like that's just a little bit higher than this section over here. Is being rebuilt, but not fast enough. Over here, Hassan managing to hold off Jordan, doing an extremely good job here. But his economy is just not on par at the moment with Jordan's. 
Losing the castle on the top up here. Viper running his units up now. And of course, sitting in that area I was just talking about. Going to be able to take out a lot of these units. And of course, these rams at the moment really just soaking up as much damage as possible. Plus, killing off all of Stark's rams. Because as we know, ram versus ram is pretty decent. And we're just going to have to see how this one plays out. Jordan, again, going to really need to start massing up units. Got a lot of cavalry archers and a lot of stables actually out for him right now. So he's going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. Looks like these plumed archers around the trade have finally been taken out by Viper. Viper going to start pushing into Stark's base right now. And I don't know how Stark's going to be able to defend this one. He does have a few castles here, which would be nice to help with the defense. But the amount of rams Viper has is going to make it really hard. There is a wall going down by Jordan on this side. There is actually a castle here as well to help defend the economy. I'm really interested to see how he plays it, and there's still some light cavalry over here from Hassan, that's going to be an interesting one. We do have the Plumed Archers still just camping on this hill here, doing quite a nice push. Looks like there is a bit of wolf combat going over on the background. Jordan actually moving in with some Hassars right now to help out, well he may as well, cavalry archers are moving across the field and, oh actually deciding to do something with these guys, that's actually probably a good call. However, there is a castle coming up here to defend, so I don't know exactly what he's going to be able to do with it. Lots of villagers moving across from Viper right now. Looks like he's changing his lumber source. And in comes the push from Viper right now. A lot of rams here. Not really a lot you can do against them with, well, plumed archers and skirmishes. Plus, the, just the hussars here by Jordan are going to soak up a little bit of damage as well and be absolutely great first of these guys. It looks like we do have Hassan trying to find a point of entry right here, but he's not having much luck. Did manage to kill off a monk there. And he's going to lose a bit here. Siege Workshop going up. Very smart. And it looks like Jordan moving it in to engage that one. Looks like, ooh, pushing in here really effectively. Taking out the first layer here. And I think he will be able to take this castle down next. Saying that, the plumed archers are in the firing line. There is a hill advantage right now for Stark. But Viper just being able to outmass right now. Actually moving back, this was probably a smart idea. More Hassan's Hassars in here trying to help with the plumed archers. Looks like he is moving around the back here. I don't know exactly what he's going to be able to do. Going to be able to kill off a bit of that trade, actually. Saying that, a bit of villager versus plumed archer combat here. That plumed archer really soaking it up, actually. He might just survive. Nah, going to be taken out there by that one villager before it gets killed off. Over here, it looks like Hassan's starting to really help out over here. These cavalry archers doing a number on Viper right now. Jordan actually moving in, and he'll be able to kill them all off, especially if he sits right here. Going to be able to corner them quite badly. And yes, it looks like he's going to get most of them here. Hassan trying to move out. Oh, it's so close. So, 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 so close. Trebuchet's out for Viper right now, and I think this is going to be it for Stark. He's going to have to throw in the GG here. He's got nothing to deal with these Trebuchets. Doesn't have any rams out. Hassan trying to kill them off with the Hussars, but the amount of plumed archers here is just too many. Over here, Jordan really just pushing these cavalry archers across. And we might see a push from Jordan into, into Hassan anytime soon right now. Castle will be taken out eventually. What's he killing off? Yes, he is killing this off. And it looks like Viper, yep, pushing it across here. This will be it. Saying that, though, these Hussars taking out these rams extremely effectively and sitting at the top of this hill here has been extremely good. But I don't know what he's going to be able to defend. The castle is down. It looks like this town center will be next. Hassan doesn't really have a lot of units left. He's Ooh, Cavalry Archer is actually running in to try and help Stark right now. Going to be interesting to see how he decides to play this. I don't think this was the right idea because now Jordan has a completely big opportunity to just absolutely ransack Hassan's base right now. And I think that's exactly what he's going for. Over here, it looks like he might just be able to take out Viper's forces here. But Viper does have a quite good kill advantage. And these rams are just soaking up so much damage right now. However, in come the Hussars into Hussars into Hassan's base. That's a bit of a tongue twister. But still taking out all these units over here. Viper's actually winning this engagement, believe it or not. And killing off a bunch of villagers in here. Looks like the trade will be gutted as well. And I think this is GG. This is GG, guys. Taking out this area over here, it looks like the plumed archers, they're in too much of a force here, especially with all the reinforcements continuing to run in. So many siege workshops over here, and here come the cavalry archers and the siege rams from Jordan. This is over. GG from Basher, there we go. And GG, GG all around. Very good game played here by Jordan and Viper. Real good defense though by Stark and Hassan. Was really close in the early castle, uh, all the way up to late Imperial. Hope you enjoyed that game. I'll see you in the next one.